Therefore, see unto them. Thus saith the Lord, that there shall none of my world be prolonging any more, but the world which I have spoken shall be that. Okay. Kaya sabihin mo sa kanila ganito ang sabi ng Panginoong Diyos, wala nang magtatagal ko sa aking mga salita, kundi ang salita na aking salitain ay matutupad sa akin ng Panginoon. We're sitting in all of Asia at McDonald's right now. And I'm meeting this young lady here. What is your name? Jocelyn. Okay, and you just came back from Singapore on February the 10th of this year, correct? She spent one year in Singapore, and she said things did not go well for her there working. And her employer let her come back, though, but she did not get her money because she did not complete her contract because it was very strict on her. I get many stories like your story, Jocelyn, constantly, but so many of the young people, when I tell them about those things happening to other young ladies, they don't believe me, okay? And I met her today with her cousin, this lady right here that I met before. What is your name? Abby. <laughs> Abby. Okay. Okay. And and she was working in uh, Kabiti, right? In a factory there in Kabiti. But what you have just read from the scriptures, from the original King James Version of the Bible and the original Roman Catholic Bible, that will be seen one day around the world. And your life can touch thousands of other young ladies' lives and men and women around the world, and just like this story here, the only person in the New Testament that Jesus Christ Yeshua said that the story had to be told about their life was not about an apostle, not about a prophet, not about the pastor, not about the bishop, not about the priest, not about the pope, but about a woman showing your importance. And the Lord can use your life, and the Lord can use Emmy's life, the Lord can even write, the Lord can use both of y'all to preach the gospel. This is Pastor Jim Fred. When it was Christmas, this Paul came ready to pray today. Paul the chief and today, ready to depart from the morrow and continue to preach until midnight. At ilang unang araw, ilang isang linggo na kami nanggap sa kapisan upang pagkutulin ang sinapay. Si Pablo ay nangaral sa kanila na nag-aakalang umalis sa pinagbukasan at tumagal ang kanyang pananalita hanggang sa ating dati. And there were many lights in the upper cha chamber where he were gathered together. At may maraming mga ilaw sa silid sa itaas ng pangkatipunan namin. And there sat in a window a certain young man named Eu Taisus being fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sank down with sleep and fell down from the third floor and was speaking up sleep. At may nakaupo sa durungawa ng isang binatang ng mga lang ilotiko na mahinding sa pagtulo. At samantalang si Pablo ay nangangaral ng mahaba kalibasa ng tutulo ay nahulog buhat sa ilatong grado at siya ay binuhat na patay. Paul went down and fell on him and embracing him to trouble the first self for his life is from him. At nang si Pablo ay dumapat sa ibabaw niya at siya ay niyakap na sinabi huwag kayong magsagulo sapagkat na sa kanya ang kanyang buhat. When he therefore was come up again and had broken bread, 
and hating him, and so along while a little bit of pain, so he departed. At nang siya ay makapanhit na at napagpaotol-potol na ang ginapay, at makain na at makapagsalita sa kanila ng mahaba. Ang gusto sa mga nakaraw kaya siya ay mali. And they brought the young man alive and were not a little comforting. At kanilang dinalang buhay ang binata at hindi kakaunti ang kanilang pagkaalim. And, and we went before the ship and fell unto us their intending to take it for for to have the apprentice minding himself to go aport. That, that that's what kami na nang nauna sa daong ay nagkilayas na patungong asun na doon namin ninakalang ilulan si Pablo sa pagkagayon ng kanyang pinasiya na hinangasa niya maglakad. When the disciple and the old friend delivered the great bread on the one for a week of the week in Acts 20, 20, Vertical 7. Paul had been in Asia three years and was living the country the next day slowly like like a mini convention and were not changing the Holy Ghost. It was obvious the honor of our Heavenly Father and His commandment for three years the Apostle Paul had been conducted by prayers and by by Father every Sabbath day. It was seven day and Sunday was a work day. For one year and six months, he made things for a living working on Sunday but not on the Sabbath day. Noong isang araw na nagpikuntipo ng mga apostolil, sasama si Pablo sa unang araw ng linggo upang kumain ng tinapay ay yung sa mga luwa at yung take to go seven. Yun ay dahil paalis ni si Pablo, kinabukasan dahil kameral siya sa Asia sa loob na atasdong taon at siya ay bilisan sa ibang bansa sa kinabukasan ng linggo na kaya parang nagkaroon sila ng munting pagpukulong-pulong at hindi nila pinapalit ang bandaling araw na kainon dahil Kasi wala silang karapatan. Napapagunayang sinaramalan nila ang amang na sa langit at ang kanyang mga utos ay dinupan nila. Sa so lahat ng tatong taon, si Pablo ay nagturo at nagsamba sa tuwing araw ng Sabado o Sabbath day. Ikapitong araw ay ang linggo ay araw ng pagsatrabaho. Sa loob ng isang taon, ang aning na buwan ay gumagawa siya ng soldat bilang hanap buhay niya sa araw ng linggo. Mga dinigay sa sabat na araw sa bado. The heat of the day, almost the world to be weather to Mga pinag-asilang sa taay. Sunod ang sabot day. Sabat ay nakatipon halos ang buong bayan o pangpakinggan ang salita ng Diyos. In court, and and was, and as man and man are worth, in when in front of them, and three Sabat days reason with them out of the scripture. Nang araw, nang seven pinto, seven pinto, seven pinto. Acts chapter 17 verse 2. And so that his manner for his manner was bringing unto them, and three Sabbath days wrestled with him out of the scripture. Paul departed 